Welcome to the lab's demonstration of Robotic Process Automation, or RPA. What you're about to see is a real RPA robot in action. This robot was installed at one of the lab's banking clients, so all sensitive material, such as account numbers, have been grayed out for security. The robot you're about to see processes what are called Regulation D violation letters. The federal government sets strict limits on customers with savings accounts. They can only make a certain number of withdrawals each month. If they do more, they get a warning letter and are charged a fee. There are different letters and different fees for different levels of violation. Each letter is currently processed manually. Here are the different steps and systems that a knowledge worker must use to create a single Reg D violation letter. The worker must log in to the first core banking system. In this case, it's FIS Acquire. They'll then select the desired date range and extract all violation data and paste it into Microsoft Excel, where they'll manipulate it. Next, they'll log into another core banking system called FIS Horizon to process the information they just manipulated in Excel. In this system, they'll charge the customer the appropriate fee. Then, they'll create the violation letter using a template in Microsoft Word and export it as a PDF. Finally, they'll email the letter using Microsoft Outlook. Note all of the systems. In this case, there are six, which the knowledge worker must use. FIS Acquire, Microsoft Excel, FIS Horizon, Microsoft Word, Adobe Acrobat, Microsoft Outlook. Also note that Acquire and Horizon are both FIS products, but they don't talk to each other. It takes an employee, a person, about 15 minutes to create the first letter and about five minutes for each subsequent letter. Employees routinely generate an error rate of 15 to 20% for this activity. Bear that in mind as we now watch the robot in action. This is what the robot looks like. You're seeing an application called UiPath. Its activities are configured using graphical workflow symbols, similar to Microsoft Visio. The programming steps are intuitive. Open a browser, pull a report, download the report, format it in Excel. On the right, you can see how it's configured. Click here, enter this hotkey. There's no conventional coding, like in traditional software. It simply mimics what a human would do. Navigating screens, typing, and clicking. Here we go. The bot is now logging into core system number one, FIS Acquire. It's querying a specific date range. It's now looking for all the Reg D violations in that date range. Now it's exporting all that data to Excel, just like a person would. Now the bot is manipulating the data in Excel, typing out string variables, entering the exact number of times the customer made too many withdrawals, and choosing among three different letters to send, depending on the severity of the violation. We've grayed out all of the account numbers and email addresses for privacy. Now, the bot is saving the information to a network drive and opening core system number two, Horizon. Even though it's made by FIS, the same company which makes core system number one, they don't talk to each other. Now, the robot is processing the transaction. You can see it booking the fee to the customer, typing in the kind of letter they will receive, the date they'll receive it. In fact, the robot is already moving on to the second letter in the foreground, as it's completing the first one in the background. There's the Microsoft Word template. The bot converted it to a PDF. It's almost too fast to see. In fact, it already sent the letter in the background using Outlook. Now watch the bottom right of the screen. You'll see the confirmation from Outlook that the letter was sent. There it is and it's almost finished the second letter already. Remember, it took a human 15 minutes to do the first letter and five minutes for each subsequent letter. That's 25 minutes total. 
This bot is already on its third letter, and it's only taken three minutes. Here's another amazing fact. The lab configured this robot from start to finish in less than two weeks. Want to learn more? Want to get started with robotics quickly? Contact the lab today 